Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you want video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. My today's video is on, how do you carry out piping for a differential pressure flow transmitter on liquids, gas and steam lines. In other words, I will show installation location of DP flow transmitter, when DPT is installed in liquid lines, gas lines and steam lines. So, please watch this video till the end. First of all, let's start with a situation, when differential pressure transmitter is installed on liquid lines. As you can see from the diagram that, for liquid lines, DP transmitter should be installed below the orifice plate. The reason behind is that, liquids has a property of self-draining. Now, let's take a situation when differential pressure transmitter is installed on gas lines. As you can see from diagram, for the gas lines, DP transmitter should be installed above the orifice plate. The reason behind is that, gases have a property of self-venting, and secondly it condensate formation. Now, Let's take one more situation when differential pressure transmitter is installed on steam lines. As you can see, for a steam lines, DP transmitter should be installed below the orifice plate with condensate pots. And both the pots should be installed at same level. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. And if you think our content is informative for you and others. Then please like and share this video with your friends.